So here I am uh, on a service call on a York package unit. Um, just kind of getting to it now. Sounds like the inducer's running, it's blowing cold air. Um, so I'm gonna take some panels off and see what's going on. So I usually start off just by looking at for uh, the fault code, seeing what's going on. Right now it's actually just doing a, a heartbeat code and I looked at the diagnostics down here. That's actually just normal operation. Um, it's clearly not running though, so it's definitely not normal operation. Um, I checked to see if I had a call on W. I do have a call. Um, so next I'm just going to start tracing out some limits here and see what's going on. So I've been testing some limits here. Um, found that my pressure switch is not closing. Uh, I pulled it apart just to make sure that nothing was like stuck in there or anything like that and just kind of sucked on the tube just to make sure it could close, I could hear it close. Uh, we did have a pretty cold night here last night, so I, I mean, if any moisture or anything like that somehow got in there, I mean, possibly something could have got hung up, but I'm going to get my manometer and test my inducer motor to make sure I'm getting the proper draft. Uh, I need to basically be pulling, you know, negative point three three or more, well, typically a lot more, uh, with this inducer motor. Um, I, I mean, I'm used to seeing at least in the ones, if not two, sometimes. So I want to make sure that I have a good draft on this motor. Um, it was kind of starting to make a the bearings are in it. We're kind of making a pretty noisy noise. It kind of died down now. Um, so I'm just going to differentiate to see what I got going on here between the two. So testing with my manometer. Um, the inducer motor actually isn't pulling enough draft on this particular uh, system to pull in the pressure switch. Um, so I actually have a bad inducer motor here, so I'll be doing the new inducer motor assembly. Um, it's only drawn like 0.2-ish to 0.3-ish, just kind of fluctuating between there. And like I said, right here stamped on the pressure switch is point, negative 0.33 is what it needs. So with that being said, um, I'll be doing a new inducer motor assembly here. Um, our shop, we actually typically do the pressure switch with it just because it's such an inexpensive part and it's just kind of safer to do both at the same time. So um, our shop kind of made it mandatory just to do both when you're, when you're doing an inducer motor assembly um, just with how inexpensive a pressure switch is. Um, so that is what I'll be talking to the building owner about. Um, try to get that approved here and uh, get the stuff ordered up so I can take care of them. Um, this is a, a York unit, like I was saying. The model number is a D2NP036N05606A. Uh, serial is a SNOK7286393. And I'm actually going to shut this off here at the disconnect, and then I'll put a tag written up in it stating what I found. So if any other technician comes out here, or if this takes a while to get approved, they'll know what's going on, or say on the next maintenance as well. Uh, someone will know what's going on, and they can just rewrite it up if need be. So just to follow up, I talked with the building owner. Uh, he approved the repair. So I have the parts on will call. I'll go pick them up and get this system taken care of so they can get some heat going back in the building. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, just leave them down below. All right, thanks.